hello friends and welcome back to my youtube channel so in the last video we sync our sprites and we tested our game so it was syncing fine so now in this video we are going to add the jump functionality so right now if you can see we don't have any functions for jump so we are going to uh, do the jumping and syncing it across the network so uh, let's start with the player script hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel so before proceeding to the video i just want you guys to know about my multiplayer course so i have created a multiplayer course with over 40 plus lectures and you can see that it's uh, more than six hours of lectures on multiplayer game development using photon 2 which is the latest version in 2019 and in here the first thing we need to do is we because we are going to add force for jump so we need a reference to our rigid body so i am going to say private and rigid body 2d and let's call it rb now in the start if the photon view dot is mine so if it is a local player then we are going to grab the uh, reference of the rigid body so rb is going to be equal to get component and the component is of type rigid body 2d now to jump we are going to go to the process inputs and in here we are going to check for jump so if input dot get key down so get key down and we are going to jump on space so key code dot space and in here we are going to call the jump function in which we are going to define in a moment so actually just copy sorry now in here we are going to write the jump function so it's going to be void jump and we are going to simply add force to our rigid body so rigid body dot add force which is going to be vector 2 dot so in the y direction so vector 2 dot up into jump force so jump force is our float variable that we have defined right here now also we need to check for the grounded so if the player is on the ground then only he can jump so for that i am going to create another boolean so it is going to be private bool is grounded and we are going to define two more functions uh, which is on trigger on trigger enter sorry on collision enter so void on collision enter 2d and it is going to take the sorry collision object so collision 2d call now in here first of all we are going to check if we are colliding with the ground so if player is colliding with that ground then we are going to set the is grounded boolean to true so make sure that we have tag on ground tag on our so here is our box collider so we are going to tag it so going to add a tag and the tag is going to be ground now save that then come back and make sure to assign the tag so whenever our player is going to hit that box collider which is big collider we can then access the tag so if call dot game object dot tag is equal to ground then we are going to do something which is is 
grounded is going to be true now we are going to copy the same code and we are going to do the same for on collision exit so on collision exit so this function is going to execute if our player is not colliding with that so it means player is jumping so it means player is on not on the ground so is grounded is going to be false now in here uh, before jumping we are going to also check and is grounded so if it is grounded then only we are going to jump now we are also going to check if the photon view dot is mine so if we are the local player then only we care about the is whether is grounded is true or not so if is mine only then we are going to do all of that so give this a nice identification now copy the same for on collision exit right here and put the bracket right here so now everything should work and you might be wondering how this jump is going to be uh, sync across the network so uh, in the previous videos uh, we wrote this function on photon serialized view and in here we are actually passing the position so in that position we are passing all three position which is x y and z so if we jump our y position is going to be changed so we are already uh, syncing the transform dot position so the jump should also sync so i am going to save that now let's uh, go back to unity and we are going to run the game so i am going to go to our main scene and i am going to build the game on two instances well before building the game let's uh, drag our player from the resources folder into the hierarchy and we need to change something on our rigid body 2d so right now you can see that gravity scale is set to one which is the default value but um, if we leave it to one you will notice that the player is going to fall down very slowly so uh, what we are going to do is we are going to set the gravity scale to five and also our uh, jump force is uh, really high which is uh, 600 so now whenever you change something always remember to hit apply on our player and now let's uh, remove the player from the hierarchy and let's uh, build the game by going to main scene so i built the project on two instances uh, but the results are not good so let me see now you can see that we have a lot of delay even in the movement but if i try to jump you will notice that we have some kind of jitter right here and the sinking is not right so we are going to fix that uh, and we are going to try different things to sync the movement and one of uh, one more reason is uh, that my internet connection is right now very slow so in on your pc you may have uh, this more smooth syncing so let me know in the comments and uh, we are going to actually try the different things so i am going to close that and go back to unity now i am in the editor and drag your player from the resources so make sure whenever you build the game you must delete the player from the hierarchy so there should be no player in the scene now let's go back and the first thing you need to do is actually we are have our gravity scale is set to four and our jump force is 
800 now uh, this has actually nothing to do with the jittering uh, so to fix the jittering uh, you can see in the photon view we in the observed components we have our player script as an observed component now i am going to add another component so this is going to copy the same thing and i am going to drag my rigid body into this second field so now we are actually observing our rigid body so this is going to observe the velocity of our rigid body so let's hit apply on our game object and remove the player from the hierarchy and let's test our game now i build the game again we have our two instances now let's see how jump works right now so i am on this instances now if i jump you can see that we still have a small amount of jitter uh, which is maybe i think my internet connection and but the jump is really good as compared to the previous so now we are going to jump on that instance and you can see our jump is now actually fine so now i want to talk about one another thing so i want you to research on photon network dot send rate so in the intelligence you can see that it is uh, it defines how many times per second photon network should send a package so and we also uh, have a warning in like uh, if you change this do not forget to also change serialization here so actually we can uh, do the send rate so i think the default is uh, 10 so if i make it 20 now we have another thing photon network dot serialization read so this is actually defines how many times per second on photon serialized should be called on a photon view so i think this is the uh, function that we wrote in so let me first let's say it 15 now uh, i think this photon on photon serialized view so to set the send rate of that function we you can use this serialization here so uh, go to google and search about these two properties and i will discuss them in detail in the later video